I want you to picture an alternate universe for a moment with me. Let's do some RP. Um, you want to sell something on eBay. I'm eBay, right? Um, eBay, Craigslist, you know, insert a place that you want to sell it, right? Um, and in this alternate universe, um, so you want to sign up? All right, we're going to need an email address, a password, a username, uh, PayPal information so that you can uh, get paid for your sales. A few other things, you know, some tax information. Oh, we're going to need your government ID. Yeah, okay, yeah, we're going to need your government ID. Um, and we're also going to need uh, that to be a picture ID. Um, and we're going to need to see all the information on it, uh, including your current address. Um, we're, we're going to need to see your government ID and also a, a pedigree for the thing that you're selling. We're going to need to see the lineage and, and, and some kind of reasonable assurance that you traced it back to a real source. Some sort of assurance that you know the thing you're selling isn't counterfeit. Uh, we'll also uh, potentially revoke your ability to sell on platforms if, uh, if it looks like you don't sell genuine stuff. Um, and, and we'll also uh, impose penalties on the person hosting your account. Uh, does that all sound reasonable? You you okay with that? You gonna sell on our site now? Um, and then let's let's do the same alternate universe. Uh, let's 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 be a person who wants to start a platform for sales. Yeah, you know, uh, we're gonna impose this system. Uh, we're gonna require that you collect all this information. Uh, and we're also going to say that you are now civilly and criminally liable if you don't fucking do this well enough because you're now liable for the intellectual property of everything sold on your site. All of it. Um, so if you want to, you've got to file all this paperwork, you've got to ensure regulatory compliance in that way, you've got to make sure that you have that information for every single person who joins. This isn't an alternate universe. Uh, this is a universe that's coming to this one. And... and in the name of keeping people safe. Um, the act is called the Shop Safe Act. Um, <laughs> and it, it's, it's fucked. It's super fucked. Um, so let me just go over uh, the reasons it sucks. Other than that obvious bullshit that shouldn't exist but does um the the reasons it sucks is because if you're just a small time person who wants to sell things and get paid maybe you don't want the platform you're selling on to know your name and maybe you're a person who just wants a startup uh he wants to or she whatever they wants to start up a platform uh, that lets people sell something in a new and innovative way. Um, you can't. Because you can't shoulder the potential regulatory burden of, like, being liable for all counterfeit stuff. Gone are the days when people could just, like, you know, roll the dice, maybe buy something counterfeit, maybe not... Gone are those days, because now um, you can't start this platform 
unless you get some kind of insurance for this sort of liability or unless you're willing to pay a shit ton of money every time one of your users does something wrong. Imagine if, if that was the case, by the way, on something like, I don't know, social media. Like, somebody says something uh, illegal on your platform, and you have to pay for whatever damages they are. Like, if you're Facebook, and somebody did a mass shooting and streamed it live, suddenly you have to be the, the, the responsible party for all the people who were, who were killed. That's the same level of stuff here. Or if there was some some racism thing uh, on on some platform or whatever, and 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 you have employees in the UK, so you have to be like uh, you have to work with their regulatory compliance, so you get criminally charged for that sort of thing because somebody in the UK got offended. Even if your platform is based in the US, that's the same level as this. It is a centralized database of information in every third party sales site um and it sucks i found out about this through the electronic frontier foundation um and uh cara gagliano i think that's how you'd pronounce that i don't fucking Congress is once again trying to fix a very specific problem with a broad solution. We, should, we support the Shop Safe Act's underlying goal of protecting consumers from unsafe and defective counterfeit products. The problem is that it, tr it tackles the issue in a way that would make it incredibly difficult for small businesses and individuals to sell anything online. It would do little to stop sophisticated counterfeiters and will ultimately do consumers more harm than good by obstructing competition and hindering consumers' ability to resell their own goods. Think about trying to sell something used online. Think about having a wool sweater that's still in great condition but just doesn't make sense for you anymore. Maybe you moved from Denver to Miami. So as many of us do these days, you list your sweater online. You put it on eBay or Facebook Marketplace or a friend says they know someone who wants it and puts you in touch via email. You exchange the sweater for some cash and everyone's happy. Now imagine that before you make that sale, you have to send eBay or Facebook or your email provider a copy of your government ID and verify that you took reasonable steps, whatever that means, to make sure the sweater is in counterfeit and state in your listing where the sweater was made or if you don't know, tell the platform all the steps you took to try and figure that out. And carefully word your listing to avoid anything that might get caught in an automated trademark filter. At this point, you might reasonably decide to just chuck the sweater in the trash rather than jump through all these hoops. That's the regime the shop safe threatens to create. And then they go how they go on about how like this is great for somebody like Amazon who can afford the liability protection and can afford to put systems in place. But it's shit for the rest of us. We can't afford to constantly post a pedigree every time we want to sell a thing. We can't afford that. It's bullshit. Um, and, you know, having to remove the tags... Uh, so that your your sweater can just be considered sweater, thus reducing the value of it even further. Um, people are gonna want to know where, like, what the thing is, but they can't even do that if, like, the product had to be like debranded so that it wouldn't be considered counterfeit. Like everything's basically gonna be made generic by this IP law. The thing that the fucking IP hawks made that propaganda video about a while back, like, the song, the movie. Now everything will just be that. You can't, like, just sell something with a... And y that's the other thing. Like, there are so many brands that are just, like, repackagings of other brands. I feel this chair that I'm in failing in the exact same way that other chairs very similar to it have. And it's made of a very similar feeling um, 
uh, fake leather. It, it It's a very similar feeling chair, and I thought it'd be like a lot more sturdy because it was at first, but now I kind of feel a little bit of uh, extra play in the hinge, just like I felt before, so I'm not even sure that this chair is going to last me. But what I'm also not sure about is that this chair is even meaningfully a different brand. Um, I'm not sure that this chair is 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 a different brand. It might just be the same person, the same company, just chunking out the same fucking chair and calling it different things and making it marginally different. Um, sort of A-B test their fucking bullshit um, like, and get people's reviews on it to see which which tweak for their centralized model works best. I don't fucking know. But it'd be difficult for me to prove that this chair was specifically that brand. Because first off, I don't even remember what that brand is right now. And second off, uh, like, if I threw out the box, if I lost access to the account where I ordered it, if I didn't have the receipt, etc., etc., all these things could get in the way of me making a proper pedigree if I decided to resell this chair under this new fucking fascism. New layer of fascism! We needed more! Um, and, and, and like, this, the little guys that might be able to compete with Amazon, fuck those guys. They don't deserve market competition. They don't deserve a shot at this. Um, because they can't afford to prove that nothing on their site is uh, counterfeit. They can't afford the liability in case something is. They can't afford an investigative team to see if it is. <laughs> it's so fucking absurd. But it's happening. You know? It's coming. I have no doubt that this is just gonna fucking floop through the floop. And like, so... Why does this matter from an anarchist perspective? We're just gonna keep on doing what we do anyway. Well... Because the gray market often operates on the circular economy, selling things on places like Facebook, um, uh, fucking selling things on places like Craigslist, selling things uh, in places that aren't centralized on purpose um, makes it easier to make a profit, you know, um, and, and, and the less centralized something is, the more open it is to the public, the better it is for the public. Um, you know, Facebook and eBay are already really fucking centralized. Um, Craigslist, less so. But everybody's going to have to be equally centralized now under this new law. If it passes, that is. Which it probably will. So... Part of the easy solutions for agorists uh, are, are dissolving. And any top-level domain will suddenly have to, um, you know, change their entire fucking model in order to, like, you know, move their, their, their terms of service under the new regime. Or they might have to move their entire business to another country that's less fucking state capitalist closed market, not free market, than the U.S. Um, and all of this means that basically the little guy will have to either knuckle under or close. Yet more small businesses closing! Yet more regulations that stop people on the bottom level from doing anything to improve their social status. Killing upward mobility yet again and draining more money from the poor people's coffers into the coffers of the corporations and their states that they fucking came from. That's what this is. And you know what else? Because this includes that uh, database of government IDs, because that's how this is, um... In the future, the very near future, your ID will be an immutable, privacy-free, blockchain-based ID that will be linked to your face and to your uh, FedCoin account. Because they're moving off the traditional dollar and toward a privacy-free, dystopian, digital dollar system and facial recognition system. 
So of course, it'd be super a lot easier to make this sort of centralized decision not cheaper, not any better for the little guy, but certainly easier for people like Amazon if they could just link it to your ID that you have to have and link that ID that you have to have and your information and all this shit to your ability to sell your own fucking property! Shop safe. You know, I make a lot of points about the fact that that I think this is going to end in rivers of blood and years of darkness, the likes of which will make Revelation look like a children's story. But you know what? You don't even need my help with that one, because if you need your fucking biometric ID system in order to buy and sell, congratulations, you got the mark of the beast! Y'all seeing what's coming down the pipe here? Y'all seeing the dystopian tyranny they're trying to knuckle us all under? Rely on corporations because we killed small businesses under the guise of public safety. And then we're going to do it again. Harder this time, daddy. We're going to do it again by making the Shop Safe Act. We're not making you safe enough. We've got to make you even fucking safer. <laughs> and people buy this shit. They buy into this fucking status nonsense, or they're not informed enough to care because they don't pay attention to alternative media. They don't pay attention to even the more mainstream alternative media like EFF. They don't pay attention because it doesn't serve them in their moment to pay attention. They'd rather just go back to their fucking dopamine and serotonin induced feedback loops on their echo chamber as for you pages and highly blocked and curated and muted fucking social media feeds served to them by the corporate elite so that they shut up, don't know anything and stay in line. That's why they want to censor people like me. That's why they censored our outlet already. That's why they censored so many fucking people. Because they don't want you knowing that they're planning all this stuff in the name of your safety. We're fucking keeping you safe. How many more times are people going to fall for it? How many people are going to say, yeah, you know, if it... If it prevents one injury from a counterfeit product, we should just allow this psychotic control grid network of fucking purchase monitoring. Yeah, you know, as long as it lets us go contact free, I'm okay with them having a facial recognition super state and monitoring all my purchases. <laughs> this is how it's going. Straight down the fucking tubes. And people like me are insane. I'm crazy. Don't listen to me. Stay away from me. Definitely don't subscribe. Definitely don't share this video. Definitely don't do anything like that. Or follow me on any of my social media, especially TikTok where I've been posting a lot of terrible things you shouldn't listen to lately. Definitely don't do any of that, because that would be contributing to misinformation somehow, even though, you know, I'm not misinforming jack shit. You know John Stossel's about to sue people over that? Because they literally just lied about what he said on Facebook in order to block his post with a misinformation banner. He lost money and viewers because of that. Because people just believe them. Facebook's fact checkers are hosed by the Atlantic Council. They're fucking statist chills. There's a government to Facebook pipeline. But yeah, believe them when they tell you somebody's lying. <laughs> fucking amazing. And they're fact checkers. They didn't say shit. About the bullshit horse-paced ivermectin stories. They didn't say shit about that. 
because those people are doing what they want. And when you lie at the behest of the establishment, you get away with it. And these people want to control your purchases, see everything you do, think, say, speak, anything. And we're just supposed to watch it happen and click like if we like somebody's angry post about it. We're not supposed to do anything. We're not supposed to stand up. There's never a point where we're supposed to just say fucking no! And if you do, you're a crazy person. So, I guess I'm just a crazy person. Because I don't mind saying no. And I'm going to keep saying no as loudly as possible, as often as possible, in as many ways as possible, about as many things as possible, that they want me to do no. This isn't going to happen. There are still ways to use the gray and black market. And they're pushing more and more normal people over to the black market side to do basic shit. Because they want basic shit to be so hard to do without their permission that everybody gets their permission for everything. Ultimate control, lack of privacy, nothing free anywhere ever again. Hey, welcome to eBay. It's hard not to be depressed. It really fucking is. It's hard. Because I know what's coming down the pipe. And I've been banging the drums. Most people don't give a shit. Or I, I've, I've accurately linked one of the groups or people they like to the coming tyranny, and they don't like that either. So even in alternative circles, I'm blackballed. Most people aren't going to share this video. Most people aren't going to see this video. Most people wish I would shut the fuck up. But I'm not going to. You know? The government isn't just the government. The state isn't just those people over there writing that stuff and forcing that stuff. You know what else the state is? The state includes the corporations it made. The ones that will do what the government says to keep their tax breaks and regulatory leniency coming. The ones that they helped massively boost this year. The banksters are part of the state because they're the ones who multiply the money. They're literally money changers in the fucking temple. The banksters that do fractional reserve and other sorts of voodoo trickery to turn already worthless money into even worth less less money and somehow add value to the economy. Hey, we took this uh, one dollar and we made eleven dollars out of it we've we've got the one dollar and then we've got all this fucking extra stuff that we say is in these accounts and we're not committing fraud this is totally legal and then people are gonna go spend that shit too they're gonna spend that and then when we when we inflate the economy we'll all you know benefit from that too especially the private shareholders of the Federal Reserve you know That's not considered fraud. And in like the, the, the corporations and the banks and the government are all the state. And that's why it's so fucking frustrating to me when I've got to, and you know, I'll probably be making a video about this soon too, but explain to people that the state isn't just those people you don't like. The state includes everybody that benefits the state and that the state created to add benefits to. The state is who people, like, selected to get the property 
originally in the U.S. The state is the inheritance that has grown the structure because the money stayed along certain bloodlines. The state is pre-selected winners and losers that have been here for millennia. The state isn't as simple as cops, courts, politicians. That's why so many people are linked to this state. That's why uh, Elon Musk gets to be revered, even though he's taken so much government money. That's why all these people get to get what they get. And why you're supposed to get what you get and not get upset. Because the state wants you to shut the fuck up. The state wants you to accept the new paradigm. The state wants you to walk away from your freedom in exchange for discounts and the ability to make sure that you got an authentic Gucci. I don't give a fuck about your Prada, bitch. I don't care if your Ray-Bans were knockoffs. I want my fucking freedom. So how about I don't negotiate with you? How about you're all terrorists and I don't negotiate with terrorists? How about anyone who wants to join me share this video with somebody they give a fuck about? Like, subscribe until I'm inevitably censored, and follow me on the alternative platforms that won't censor me, like library and other places such as that. Because let me tell you something, this is great for mega corporations, and that means they're going to want to shut me up. If the only places you can go to sell and buy are their mega corporations because they're the ones who can afford this government overreach. It's nothing more than regulatory capture. Just like every other fucking thing that they've been doing to you since the beginning of this fucking scare. Same scare they're using to create a facial recognition super state. A blockchain-based, permanent, privacy-free money. And now, you can't even sell your shit online unless you can prove it's authentic. And maybe not even after that, if something is indicated to not be. So you better not get swindled yourself, or if you decide that it's just like, too much effort, you're just going to start throwing your shit away, right? Say no. Start rejecting this system. These people don't give a fuck about you. They see you as numbers in a system to exploit. That's all. And it's time people started taking their fucking freedom back. With all that being said... Um, <laughs> my daily vlogs should be back. I'm uh, going to start posting every single fucking day. So I'll see y'all around the corner. Smash the fucking state.